Hey folks, it's Rob Tiffany. Today, I want to compare 5G spectrum to your speakers and your home stereo system. Before, I talked about comparing it to your AM FM car stereo. Well, let's mix it up some more and try to make this weird spectrum thing and these frequencies understandable to you. So, your stereo system, you've got tweeters, your really high frequency sounds in your music, you know, the highest frequencies, high voices, uh, parts of the drums, things like that, you know, those are highly directional and they don't go as far and they, but they get those high sounds, right? Um, and so a lot of times you may have multiple tweeters pointing in different directions. It just depends, but a lot of times it's super directional. Compare that to with 5G spectrum, these frequencies, these things called millimeter wave super, super high, very directional, don't go as far, deliver insane amounts of bandwidth. Um, a lot of times you may hear about a layer cake, and I'll jump into that. Then you may have, uh, back on your loudspeakers, you have maybe mid-range and, and woofers. Those are lower, mid kind of mid-frequencies to, to mid to lower frequencies, uh, and they go further, and they fill a room, you know, your living room. Uh, and that's what most people have, right? Well, think of that mid-band spectrum in 5G, you know, it's uh, around 3.5 gigahertz and kind of around that range. Goes way farther than millimeter wave. It's still really fast, lots of data, but doesn't, but you know, but, but still, you know, it'll still run out of gas after a little while, right? You know, and so further than high. And then, then go back to our speaker analogy again and think about your subwoofer. If you have a subwoofer in your house, do you ever notice you can put that subwoofer anywhere you want in your living room and it doesn't matter, it, the sound goes everywhere? What's that all about? Well, these frequencies are so low that it's not as directional and it goes so far and it allows you to just put it anywhere. You don't have to have it pointed at you like you might have your mid-range or your tweeters. Well, the same thing applies in low band cellular spectrum. So like if you have something like 600 megahertz, that goes further than mid-band or the millimeter wave, but it's not as fast. Still faster than LTE, but not as fast as mid-band or millimeter wave, but a lot farther. So you're gonna get more coverage from the cell tower. Um, that layer cake I talked about was having the combination of that mid, high, and low all together to complete the picture, to have great coverage for far, and you'll have different speeds. So further coverage, not quite as fast. Mid-band, really getting fast and not quite as much coverage. Millimeter wave, insanely fast. And you'll have to have more small cells deployed throughout a city or wherever to, to create the coverage for that. It's just like your tweeters, mid-range woofers and subwoofers on your stereo system with your loudspeakers at home. Hope all that weirdness makes sense to you. I'm out.